So here we are in my small workshop. That's my take on the Moravian workbench. It's a little idea I had. So I'm trying to think if I could use this as a table. So instead of the cross member being in the leg, I put them towards the center. And it works pretty good. Um, it'd be better if they were, the, the, if the miters were taller but it works. And I just got the knockouts in there and just got a small toolbox. It just fits under there. So this is about 26 inches wide by 47 inches. Um, it's way too tall. It's 36 inches tall, but uh, I can always make that, you know, cut the legs off or something, but it works for you now. Is very nice. I've got one row of dog holes in it. And uh, uh, let's see. That's the only problem with this is normally I wouldn't have used. So I can't get it out right now. But anyways, there's a dog. There's a dog in there. And it's cut in half. Kind of, it's about this big. It's cut in half to hold the wood, but it slipped down in there, and it doesn't go through because there is a bolt down in there. And originally, I had planned to use this hole as the dog, but as you push, it comes up. Um, if if the dog is here, so I put the dog here. It works just fine And there's the screw and that's actually um, out of a jack for a, a scissor jack for a car So I made this um, end piece and just got a, I think this was from a crib but works fantastic and I've got a small piece of steel with a bearing that holds this from coming out. And I don't I don't do any heavy work on this. It's a finishing kind of bench. Now these were uh, what do you call them? Engineered beams for some for uh, spanning a room. So they came this size and this length. You see, this one's longer than this one, um, but I wanted a little bit longer, so I just added this. Works great. Um, hold on. There we go. So, maybe you can't see that. So, I flip this up so you can see. Here's the mechanism in movement. So this piece just keeps this from falling down. So I want you to notice you don't have to be perfect. So to hold this on, I've used, uh, I think it's three eighths, three eighths inch rod, made a hole so I can get a wrench in there. And same down here, over here I did that again. Um, so here in Japan, we don't have all these cool things like bed bolts or draw bolts or whatever you want to call them. There's a lot of names for them. So that's, you know, you got to do with what you can do. And also I enlarge in the holes on the bottom because this is uh, just over three inches. So later I'm going to be getting um, some hole fasts. And from what I hear, they don't work too well at three inches. 
So that's what you can do if you want to make it shorter. And then here's the hole to go into the dowels to hold it in place. But it's quite tight, so I'm going to put that in off camera. I don't have a tripod set up today. But hey, there you go. That's it. I just hammered it out with what I had in the shop. Um, I used plywood right here. This is a uh, one inch plywood. So in, in the future, I wouldn't do that. But again, you know, I had a limited budget, limited time, and I like to use what I got on hand. So it works fine. I use this bench all the time. I love it. Um, now that I've built it, I think I'm going to sell it because, you know, it's always time to build another workbench, right? But I really like this design. I really like this idea. I, I don't know. I might just keep it. Tell me what you think.